Once upon a time, there was a little girl, and she had a little red riding hood. And that's what her name was called, Little Red Riding Hood. And she was in the forest with the trees, because she was looking for flowers, because she wants to get flowers for her grandma. She's going to go to her grandma's house and eat lunch. In her basket are sandwiches and goldfish crackers and apple juice and spaghetti with butter and no sauce only butter only and she's gonna walk to her grandma's house now because she has her flowers uh oh all of a sudden a big bad wolf saw her and he went over to her and he was so hungry and he saw he saw that she had so much food so he said hey can i eat your food and little red riding hood said no thank you this food's for me and my grandma only and the big bad wolf said does your grandma have food too and little red riding hood said yes she has food too in her house but i'm bringing her more food that we can eat for lunch and the wolf said i'm so hungry because the wolf was so hungry, he wanted to eat all of Little Red Riding Hood's food and the grandma's food. So you know what he was thinking? He's thinking he's gonna go to the grandma's house and get all the food. And when Little Red Riding Hood comes, he's gonna eat all her food too. What a meanie. So he said, Okay, Little Red Riding Hood, I'll see you later. Bye bye. And then he ran away. Little Red Riding Hood said, Bye bye, big mean wolf. I'm going to my grandma's now. The big bad wolf went to grandma's house first. And he went all the way there to her door. And he looked in the window and saw that the grandma has so much food. So the wolf went inside the house to get the food. The big bad wolf went inside the grandma's house and he put her in the closet so he could look for food. Then the wolf put on the grandma's clothes so he could pretend to be the grandma because when Little Red Riding Hood comes, he wants to scare her and get her food. So Little Red Riding Hood started to walk through the forest to her grandma's house. There's the grandma's house. It's a little red house. And so, Little Red Riding Hood, she walked all the way to her house now. Little Red Riding Hood went all the way to the grandma's house. And she said, I'm going to knock on the door and say hi to my grandma. Knock, knock, knock. Grandma, it's me, Little Red Riding Hood. And she heard inside, her grandma sound like this. Come in! And Little Red Riding Hood said, Her voice sounds really strange. Sounds so scratchy. So Little Red Riding Hood went inside the grandma's house. Little Red Riding Hood went inside the grandma's house. And she was so happy and excited. But then she saw the grandma looks different. So she said, Grandma... Why you look so different? Why do you have those big paws? And the wolf said, All the better to hug you with, my dear. But Little Red Riding Hood said, But Grandma, why do you have those big huge ears for? And the wolf said, All the better to hear you with, my dear. But then Little Red Riding Hood said, But Grandma, why do you have all the fur on your body? And the wolf said, All the better to be warm. And then Little Red Riding Hood said, But Grandma, why do you have those big sharp teeth? And the wolf said, All the better to eat your food. And Little Red Riding Hood said, Ah! 
that's not my grandma, that's not my grandma. I need somebody to help me because the big bad wolf is in my grandma's house. And where's my grandma? I have to find her. So you know what? We're gonna help Little Red Riding Hood with our safety scissors. Let's open grandma's closet with our safety scissors now so we could get grandma out. One, two, three. Let's get grandma. Here you go, grandma. There she is. She was hiding in the closet. And she has, let's get her out. And grandma has a broom. What's the broom for? Hi, grandma. Can you help us because the wolf is here? And the grandma said, hey, you wolf, you get out of my bed. You leave us alone right now. And the wolf said, oh no. And then she said, get out, get out of my house, get out. And she chased the wolf all around the house. And he said, I'm getting out of here. And she said, go away, go away. And the wolf said, I'm just too hungry. And the grandma said, you go get lost and get your own food. You don't come in here and be a bad guy. So then she chased the wolf away. And he said, ah, I'm running away. So the grandma said, you go away right now. There. Now, they're so happy. The grandma said, hello, Little Red Riding Hood. And Little Red Riding Hood said, hello, grandma. I love you so much. I brought food for us. Here's grandma's hat for her because it's not the wolf's hat. It's grandma's hat. Here you go, grandma. There's her hat. And now grandma wants to clean up her house because the big bad wolf was so messy. She's going to clean, clean, clean her house and sweep it. And there's too much dirt in there and dust and too much fur from the wolf and so much crumbs. So she's just sweeping. There. Now they're ready for their lunch. Look at this. What's that? A buggy. A buggy's here. That's funny. That must be from the, from the forest. There's a buggy from the forest. They came to grandma's house. See the little beetle? That's funny. That's a little beetle. It came to see grandma's house. Because there's so many animals in the forest. Even buggies. Let's sweep the buggy away. There you go, buggy. Go outside grandma's house. It's just a beetle. It's a little beetle looking for grandma's house. Little Red Riding Hood gave her grandma the flowers. Here you go, grandma. And the grandma said, they are so beautiful. I love them. Thank you for getting me flowers. Little Red Riding Hood was so happy. And the grandma was so happy. They're going to eat their lunch because they're so hungry. And inside the lunch, there is some sandwiches and goldfish crackers and apple juice and spaghetti with butter and not meat sauce only butter and that's what they're gonna eat for lunch and they're so hungry and they're so happy to be together because they love each other little red riding hood and her grandma and that's the end of our paper story you can watch it again if you want or you can watch a different paper story you can choose it's up to you see you later